China's population, especially in its major cities, are looking more to rent their homes. With such a market expected to bring in billions of dollars in rental income, the opportunity hasn't been missed by investors, even as the government steps in with policies to safeguard tenants and potential renters. Zhang Shixuan reports. Increasing population density and mobility in big cities like Shanghai and Beijing, as well as tough curbs on home buying, have boosted demand for rental housing in China. I moved like three to four times. But like my current one isn't that big, 70 to 80 um, square meters. Uh, basically, I live alone with my cat. My rental currently is like 7500 per month. I've been renting an apartment for two and a half years. I didn't have a stable job before, so renting was more convenient when I had to move. And also I wanted to experience different lifestyles in different areas. I've been renting an apartment for a year. I can't afford to buy a house on my own. And if the apartment is in a good location with good services, I'm willing to pay for it. It is estimated that China's total renter population will exceed 240 million in 2022. And in Shanghai alone, the mid and high end multifamily market would generate at least 150 billion yuan in annual rental incomes. The demographic tailwinds have already attracted plenty of attention from foreign investors. U.S. property giant Graystar opened its first rental project in China at the end of last year. Located in downtown Shanghai's Changning district, the 474-unit community has already got an occupancy of about 50 percent. It offers almost 20 different types of unit layouts, starting from 50-square-meter studios to 149-square-meter three-bedroom apartments. We've always viewed China as probably one of the largest rental housing markets in the world. Um, there aren't many countries that we can speak of with kind of the mega cities that we see in China. Shanghai, for example, 25 million people, 40 percent of the population rents here. So actually, we've been looking at the China market for the past 10, 15 years. Um, however, since 2016, when the government started to really give support into the sector, that's when we decided it's really the right time to enter. The rents for this first project are not cheap. They now start at 19,700 yuan a month and can go up to 43,000 yuan a month. Still, the market is there. The company last year announced the acquisition of a new development site in Shanghai's Qing'an district. The aim is to develop more projects targeted at more diversified consumer groups. The beauty of doing rental housing from an investment perspective is, you know, if I was doing create a office building or a high-end retail, there's probably only three or four business districts in a mega city like Shanghai, which I can, you know, do high-end office buildings and, and retail. But for rental housing, you know, 500 meters within walking distance of every single metro station, um, I can actually do a rental project but, you know, it might cater to a different set of customers. Um, obviously, there's always a need for affordable rental housing, and we see that not just in China, but everywhere in the world. Experts say that with the rental housing market in China still in its early stages of development, the foreign capital could well spur its growth. For foreign capitals, a lot of them bring, you know, experience uh, for operating uh, rental housing in, in, in foreign markets. You know, multifamily or what we call the rental housing right now is a big, very mature asset class in, in, in the States and also in some of the European markets. Uh, from an investment volume perspective, it could be, you know, a, a business of uh, nearly two, 200 billion uh, 200 billion U.S. dollars a year. So there's a lot of mature and the leading players. Uh, they have uh, very, uh, you know, sophisticated experience across different markets. And we are looking forward, uh, uh, you know, for those uh, players to bring their expertise into China market and uh, build their own brand uh, in this uh, very potential rental housing market. China has rolled out a series of measures to revamp a market once dominated by retail landlords and institutional investors. Rental housing companies will get a big tax break beginning in October, which is estimated to wind up giving them a profit boost of 10%. Zhang Shixuan, ICS for CGTN, Shanghai.